And yes, folks, you'll be like, what did Beano find now? Uh, hyperbolic star. It's up by Saturn. And it's bleeding through on the solar panel. On no one's blind, we see what we're looking at. Now, slight possibility there we, you know, but we'll discount whether that is a sun either that or. But it's see, when I say a hyperbolic star, because this really shouldn't be the sun because it's rotating so fast, 78 hours, and this is a 24-hour shot. You see, so we get we have a hyperbolic star. I'm not sure if it's someone that I was able to show you from uh, that they've been watching for a long time. Either that or we have another comet. This shouldn't be ice on because we are up by Saturn. And I'll show you a recent shot here of... Uh, so remember, I can't point with my pointer with a poop when I've got... Uh, but there you go. Hyperbolic. Atomic. Nuclear. Everything's nuclear in space, ladies and gentlemen. Every star is nuclear. Okay, every star. They're nuclear fusion or fission, but it's basically fusion. A welding rod, ladies and gentlemen, and basically more than likely that's what Pan Stars was, was a welding rod that coming through. Now this is not Pan Stars. This is over by Saturn. Okay, so basically I'll minus, uh, I'll get, I basically got to get us to save some video time here. And then we're going to go ahead and take and we'll get out of this so you know what we're shooting at here. I don't think I've taken too much video time here. And we'll pop the 400, and we'll see you up by Saturn. That's what we were looking at right there. And as we come down, H12A on the 18th, and I also got it on the 17th. And I'll show you a lot of other stuff here on Pan Stars and so forth. On, uh, we'll be in the next video. We'll show a little bit. We'll be able to get a shot from A, and there you got Earth and Mercury over there. Okay, and you remember, Mercury is going around the Sun counterclockwise. Okay, so as you see it coming, the sun is back this way because that's Mercury's close to the sun. Okay, so the sun is basically being blocked out of this shot, the darkness of space there. Okay, basically they've got the shield up on this side. You see, they've got the shield up. You see, so it's shielding the sun, so you don't really know where the sun's at. So they kind of try to fake you out a little bit, think make you thinking that that's the sun back there by Saturn, and it's not. And we'll, we'll show it and prove that to you in a little bit. Okay. Let me get out of here. We got a fresh 5.3 quake, and then as you can see, with me tilting it around, and it basically, what I'm interested in, we'll go to A and F real fast, and. This is about more than two weeks worth of quake action. Actually, it's less than, I think, maybe about a week right now. I'm not sure how much they've got up on here. Remember, there's a 6.1 way down there on the bottom. That is a 6.1, this big one on the bottom down there. 6.1, you can see it there. Just around by the magnifier glass. So, and it gets kind of, there's 6.1. So, and then that was our most recent one up there. And as you can see, we've got tons of quakes all over the world. Okay, and since... We have so much eyeballs on us all the time. It gets a little bit hard to control some things. So, tug of war. So anyhow, pretty good footprint on that 5.3 up there. So, now I'm going to take you to ENF real fast. And this was a fresh one there. That This here is not the same quake, I do not believe. Pretty damn sure. Yeah, that's a 4.9. That one there was 4.9, so it's picked up there. And this is, remember, we have our big object coming by on the 20th right now. We have a 3.8 kilometer size object that's coming by out in space right now. And you can go to Space Weather and check it out or go to RSOE or go to to uh, the NASA, NEO. Okay, so basically we had this action two days before previously. As you can see that these are older quakes. Okay, so we had this a lot of action. So two days after this large object we'll get and then basically I would say West Coast United States be, be you know on the be on the caution and I think that they have honestly I think the people have you know and this is going to be happening for years ladies and gentlemen this isn't just a it's been going on for two years we just keep picking up and picking up and picking up so you'll see some good six point whatever magnitude quakes coming up in the next two days so let's go back out to space 
and then you've got this I think if I hope if I got the yeah the 17th you're gonna see here I'll put back up here to the 17th let me get my magnifier out of the way so it just doesn't mess up anything on the shop we get over to there and then we pick up here and you'll see that it blings as you can see that there and I'll pump up on 400 here I wanted to get this in the video show you that basically our falling star basically makes a electronic connection with because that's not the Sun the Sun is putting a CME off there but it's the Sun's over here to the left and that's all your CME action coming off the Sun and if you watch this and I'll, I'll go back down in size but it's not the Sun that does that or if it is it's a combination of the Sun and this falling star which basically as you can see you see how the, that pan stars is a star and it has electronic because basically remember I'm going to go to the 16th and watch the footage and you'll see the head of this thing coming up off the magnetic line of it which is basically right here but it does it makes a pabling ching as it leaves with whatever's close over there that stays there all the time and I'll just pump up a little bit more real fast we'll go 999 and then you'll realize no matter what that uh, ice on I mean uh, excuse me pan stars here pan stars is a star and as you can see that that umbilical cord out there of stars it lights up so blink blink twinkle twinkle little star twinkle twinkle little star it ain't no flipping comet okay that's your actual fact because that's ice on I mean excuse me again that's pan stars pan stars that's pan stars what you're using I was talking about ice on is on, I'll take you to uh, real fast. Now that is pan stars going away, and it did that electrical connection out there in space. Okay, and remember that this is what I've been showing you in the gray video that I showed you. Okay, and basically I can pop into that real fast at 400, and as you can see that that is not rotating. That is planetoid object, and it's in our solar system, and it is not absolutely not rotating counterclockwise. Okay, so. And yes, we can see out of our solar system in these shots, but this stuff is close enough and we haven't found bow shock, so pretty damn sure that we have stuff in our solar system that rotates clockwise, not counterclockwise. And remember, Venus rotates itself. It rotates uh, counterclockwise. I mean clockwise. Venus does rotate clockwise, so there's a good shot of pan stars as it leaves and remember that stuff there that stays still since that tail action is giving it straight off the back side of that so called but it is basically a star uh, that stuff is there's a lot of stuff that's not that far away from earth out there so let's get out and see what we've got for footage from uh, I've got queued up this coming through that this, that's pan stars pop over as pan stars okay so as you can see more than likely because we can go to I think let me line up the yes folks this is on the 17th okay as you can see it looks like there's something might have been coming along with pan stars there so I'll go to the 18th real fast here's the 18th we'll pump up on size and as you can see kind of does look like there was followers on it so and that's on the 18th there okay now getting back to what we've got out behind what's starting to bother me folks is they got Saturn marked when they're looking at the Sun here on this one and you know that Mercury's close to the Sun so you know that when we're up here looking at this stuff that what we're seeing here and then I'm going to take you to this I even got the 16th loaded up what I'm what I've been worried about is when we were blown in on this and what we're seeing up there by Saturn that's not the Sun folks okay it's absolutely not the Sun that's not the Sun okay and uh, I'm gonna pump in this at 999 so that when we come back and this isn't the Sun over by Saturn and that shot from B will show you that that's not the Sun and then I got the magnifier again we'll get in there and then we're going to hurry up and get over to uh, we'll hurry up and get over to the uh, 16th and the 17th.
So we got something up by Saturn coming in. Coming, going somewhere. It's getting closer to the satellites and getting closer to the sun. So, uh, i.e. Uh, this is, and I can hit play because Mercury's over by the sun. I hit play here. And this is from the 17th. As you can see, it's up there. Okay. I've glued in on the 9th, on the 18th there. I got the glued in footage. Then we go all the way over. I've got, this is be the 16th. And you're going to see it's not, e not in the shot. But you can see I'm going to hit play and you're going to see what's going on with Saturn up there on the 16th. Okay. And I'll glue in on that as much as I can. I'll get in 999. You can see Saturn flashing. So we got something that's coming in up by uh, Saturn. Because I'm going to show you ice on in a second. I've been showing you pan stars. It was all pan stars that I've been showing you. Not what I've been showing you behind the solar panel. which Because whatever, this is the 16th. So you can see the action that was going on with Saturn. Now there's a slight possibility that could be totally wrong and then that's where PanStars is at over there. Then we get a great look at what PanStars actually is and it's over by Saturn. But I don't, but really this, that's wrong. This is something new because basically something is blabling Saturn. As you can see something is making Saturn do a CME reactive flare of some sorts. And if we go down on size on this one here from the 16th, it's just a normal size. We'll go down to like 125. You're going to know when you see Mercury in the Earth over there that the sun's going to be close. And they're shooting either that or we finally have got the sun in a shot behind the solar panel, finally. So we'll know in a, a little while because we're either going to keep seeing that, that we were glued in on here on... I just don't see how all the angles, how that could end up being the sun. Mercury's close to the sun and they got it that in the shader. They've got it in the shader over here on the right. I can slide all the way across over and you got Earth and Mercury and they've got the shader in. Because they've got, see how they got the shader on this side? They got it so they can shade. And as you see that's rotating around and Mercury's way closer to the, because we've seen that on Sechi B shots. So I really don't, that's not the sun, and we got something out there, because I take you back over to the 16th again, and we can pop in on this real fast, just to like 400, and take the magnifier out, and even get up there and just see the blinger, not even going 999, and go up over here, and you can see Saturn doing it, what it's doing, so, and then we can pop out real fast, and go, make sure you know that the date and the time is correct, there it is, and then I get back over to what we're seeing on the, that's what you know where Saturn's at, way away, way away from the Mercury and the Sun also, you know, it's way the hell away. And then what you're seeing here, what we're getting, and I can pump back up, because it's, it's pretty amazing. And this is the 19th, so then I'll have this at 999, and I'll also have uh, the footage that I, I got from the, this is the 17th real fast for you the 17th and then you'll see it closer when we get in on it and I can just take the magnifier get it over here so it won't get in hopefully in the shot that much Boom. slide remember I can't point so it's getting brighter and it's coming towards that's not the Sun and it's not pan stars and it's not ice on because basically I'll pop over to, uh, I think I'm back on the, uh, let's go down and see if I'm at the, what date? I'm at the 18th, this is the 18th footage, okay? And then I'm at 9.99, I can blow in on it, and it's getting closer, and it's getting brighter. You see it started to bling Saturn, and then remember, from looking at, uh, I was going to hurry up and hit, but I'll just take and get magnifier and get out. Okay, so I'm out of the magnifier, and then I get back over to this shot from, from B and it shows you how far Saturn is you know that's not the Sun and they got the shader up so we've got something out there and then I'm gonna pray I'll give you or uh, I'll give you where Ison's at right now currently this is currently where Ison's at. It's up by Jupiter that's Ison okay that is ice on there that white that's from I got this from it's very reputable I got that from heavens above okay 
So you got Earth, Mercury, Venus.